Hi everyone, it's Zane Omega Pinan and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another road test review for a foundation. And this is from LA Girl and it's called the Pro Matte HD Long Wearing Matte Foundation. So if you guys are interested to know what my thoughts and initial verdict about this product, then just keep watching. Alright, so as mentioned, gagawa natin ng review itong bagong foundation from LA Girl, yung Pro Matte HD or High Definition Foundation nila. And it cost me 799 pesos, guys. Then, yung shade na nakuha ko dito is medium beige. Tapos, meron daw 14 shades nito. Hindi ko lang sure kung lahat ng shades na yun available, ha? Anyways, let me do a very quick swatch. That's how it looks. So as you can see, may konting pink undertone siya, pero may pagka-yellowish undertone pa rin siya, guys. Amazing. It blends really nice on my skin. Yung container nito, guys, is a glass container. Meron siyang lid and meron din siyang pump, which is good. Um, meron siyang 1 fluid ounce or 30 ml. Now, yung claims nito, guys, it says at the back of the bottle, it has a medium to full coverage. It is a smooth, long-wearing suede finish. And it says long-wearing and it looks HD. So it's really very intriguing on my end. So we're gonna do a wear test for this today. I will be applying the foundation on both sides of my face using two different tools. Yung una, gagamitan natin siya nitong, uh, what do you call this one? A brush. And then the other, we're gonna be using a sponge, a damp sponge. Tapos tingnan natin ano ba yung best tool na pwede natin gamitin to apply this foundation. Keep in mind, I don't have anything on my face except yung moisturizer na ginamit ko kanina umaga or kanina before starting the film. Uh, yeah, without further ado, I guess let's go ahead and start. Again, unahin natin si sponge. Alright, so this is how it looks like, guys. Niko pa nalalagyan yun ako ha. Pero, right off the bat, makikita nyo na talagang matte yung finish nitong foundation na to. Tapos, it does give me a automatic medium coverage. Hindi mo na kailangan i-build. Dito, under the eyes, medyo na neutralize niya. So, I'm gonna finish off this side of my face. First, tingnan natin kung anong full na itsura niya. Ayan, so nalagay na natin yung one whole pump dito sa left side ng face ko. Actually, na-impress ako sa, niya, sa kanya guys kasi super ganda ng coverage nito guys. Automatic talaga na medium coverage. And I double it up as a concealer underneath the eyes and it did a good job on it. Tapos ngayon ko lang napansin guys, talagang ang flawless pala ng finish niya no. And ang bilis nang mag-set. As in, talagang parang segundo lang ang talagang hihintayin nyo magsaset na siya on your skin, which is good. So, what I'm gonna do, okay sa akin yung sponge, guys. As usual, it's my preferred way or tool to apply foundation. But we're gonna give a test using a kabuki brush. Try natin to. There you go. Ayan siya na, guys. Parang halos same lang yung coverage na binigay niya whether you use a kabuki brush, a damp sponge, but, you know, preference-wise, mas gusto ko pa rin yung finish ni uh, sponge. Alright, so there you go. This is how it looks kapag na-apply mo na siya all over your face. Talagang hindi mo mararamdaman, guys, na may foundation ka. Nakakatawa tong foundation na to, guys. It looks really promising for an oily skin like me. Um, it's very, very lightweight, I must say, and it does a very nice coverage. So, I will leave it as it is. Pero, what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna set half of my face with a powder. Pero, hindi na ako magpo-concealer kasi okay na sa akin yung under eye area. And, I also wanna see how it works kung siya lang. So, I'm gonna set my face, half of my face, that is, 
using my Nichido loose powder. Lalagyan ko ng powder itong side, itong left side, and then I will leave it as it is itong right side. Hindi natin siya isi-set. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So okay na ako dito sa foundation and sa powder na ginamit natin. So I will just do the rest of my face and do the rest of the day, I guess. Ang oras natin, guys, it's 11.56 ng umaga, almost noon time. And then, I will do check-ins from time to time, I guess, and let's see how it works. And, yeah, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Hi, everyone, I'm back, and this is gonna be my first check-in for this foundation review. Ang oras, it's 3.13 na na and it's roughly around three hours if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, three hours since it applied at the foundation kanina umaga or late morning. Ito na siya guys after three hours. So let me guys show you quickly how it looks like. This side is the one with the powder. So as you guys can see, medyo nakakakita na ako ng konting areas na medyo shiny. Pero, still manageable. Coverage-wise, it's still the same. Although, napansin ko, itong laugh line ko is medyo na-emphasize niya. But, nothing too drastic, which is good. I can still see my blush and my contour, which is a good sign. Now, on this side naman, still, I can see na medyo may build na ng oil sa face ko. But, it's, it's more compare dito sa side. Hindi masyadong kita yung pag-build ng oil. Pero ito, obvious na siya, guys. Pero it's not the same thing. It's not that severe. Kaya ginusto ko rin gawin yung check-in now kasi nakikita ko na na nag-build na siya ng oil. But my nose, my forehead, um, yeah, pretty much this is start na siya mag-oil up. Now, what I like about it is, hindi siya nagbubuo-buo. Alam niyo yun, yung kahit na nag-oil up na yung, foot, yung nose ko, it doesn't seem like nadi-dissolve na yung foundation in a way na parang nagkakaroon ng maliit na mapa sa face ko. So, hindi siya ganun, guys. And at this point, 3 hours with this weather, very manageable pa yung pag-oil up ng face ko. So, so far, so good. I will leave it as it is. Hindi ko siya itatouch up, guys. Hindi natin tatanggalin yung excess oils kasi gusto kong ma-maximize yung review natin. Tingnan natin kung okay ba talaga tong foundation na to. But so far, at the time frame na 3 hours, okay pa siya, guys. So, yeah. I'll just continue wearing this and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Hi, everyone. I'm back and this is gonna be my final check-in for this foundation review na ginagawa natin. Ang oras, it's 10.08 na ng gabi. So, it's been like 10 hours na nating suot si foundation. And this is how the face looks like. And obviously, both sides of my face are pretty oily. Um, definitely oily yung aking T-zone. Tapos, nagsisettle siya sa mga fine lines. Redness around my nose is pretty much obvious na rin. So, honestly speaking, hindi ko na talaga makita yung difference between with or without the powder. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'll remove the excess oils of my face and then I'll be right back. Alright, tatanggal na natin sa excess oils. And eto na siya, guys. To be honest with you, mukhang okay pa si foundation pag tinanggal lang natin yung oil. By the way, I use two blotting sheets just to remove yung excess oil sa aking T-zone. Hindi malagkit sa face si foundation. But so far, at this point, nagugustuhan ko yung itsura ng foundation. The fact na hindi nagbago yung itsura niya, yes, nag-fade na yung aking blush and yung aking contour. But, overall, it still looks nice. I don't even feel na kailangan ko mag-powder. Okay, so with that being said, let me share my final thoughts about this foundation. Ito na siya, guys. So, let's start with the price. 799 pesos. I would definitely say medyo mahal siya, guys. Hindi siya... Wala siya sa affordable side. Kasi para sa akin, when you say affordable, it's anything between 
500 to 100 pesos, I guess. Yun yung affordable range para sa akin. Actually, yung 500, medyo expensive na rin siya eh. Next is the shade. Definitely medyo wide yung variety ng shade nitong LA Pro. Tapos, packaging-wise, definitely hindi siya travel-friendly. Although, I like the fact na may pump na kasama si foundation at magandang klase yung pump niya, guys. As in, talagang parang nakokontrol mo talaga si uh, din, yung dinidispense ng product. Consistency, hindi siya liquidy, hindi rin siya um, thick. Parang nga siyang nasa foamy, foamy style. And it does remind me of yung Maybelline um, satin finish. No, satin. Basta yung ano, yung Maybelline satin foundation. I also like the fact na magaan siya sa pakiramdam. It doesn't feel na meron kang foundation. And it's buildable to full coverage. So, it's going to depend on how you want your foundation to look on your skin. So when it comes to finish, I really, really like the finish of this foundation. It looks, I would say, flawless in a way. Depende pa rin yan sa skin mo. It does have a matte finish and it's going to set on your face instantly. Hindi ako nagkaroon ng problema sa pagbe-blend. Madali naman siyang i-blend, guys. Pagdating naman sa longevity, guys, I would say that this foundation does stay put on your skin for a long period of time. On my test, um, maganda pa siya guys, even beyond 4 hours. Napansin ko lang na talagang sobrang nag-oil up na yung face ko at around 7 hours. Um, beyond that, doon ko na napansin na hindi na siya ganun ka-manageable. Again, depende sa weather guys ha, kasi ngayon medyo malamig yung panahon. If you're gonna ask me, do I recommend you guys with oily skin? to try this foundation, definitely it's a win. It's a two thumbs up for me, guys. I will still give this one a few more tries kasi gusto ko talaga siyang malaman kung okay talaga siya for skin type na meron ako. For the skin type na meron ako in all types of weather. So I guess that's it for this review. If you guys have any questions about the product, let me know in the comment section below and I will try to address them as much as I can. All the product information that I can gather will also be listed down in the info box, so make sure to check it out. And if you guys like these kinds of videos, make sure to leave a comment down below and hit the like button para alam kung nagustuhan nyo siya. And as always, thank you so much for watching everybody and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye!